What is going on my friends? Mike here and in this video we are talking about getting some weight in your spear gun so it doesn't float away. I've got a pretty expensive gun. It's a 48 color roller gun. The last thing I want to do is lose that thing. I didn't really do a whole lot of research on it. I just kind of took what I had, got some drill bits, drilled, you know, took off the buttstock, drilled in to the back of the the gun so whenever I would let it go it would stand straight up on end. I ended up putting I believe five to six ounces of lead in it just by using regular fishing weights. Definitely not a pro with this. It was kind of sloppily done and I'm sure some super craftsman would probably rip this this apart but for the novice people out there that want to get weight in your gun this is how I did it. This video is how I drilled and put lead in my 48 Koa roller gun. Check it out. All right, so what I did first was I removed the buttstock from the back end of the gun and grabbed a 3 8 drill bit. Um, you could even use a half inch if you wanted. Drilled into there, got as deep as I could, grabbed a three ounce egg weight, um, smashed it down, um, into long flat pieces that way whenever I use the torch it will melt a little quicker and flow a little nicer and as you can see it's easier to hold with the pliers so light the torch up kind of hold the torch on the lead right over the hole and it heats up pretty quick and starts to drip in and just fill that hole up I had noticed that there wasn't a whole lot going in to the hole, so I pretty much had to make my holes bigger. Had to get them, ream them out, make them as big as they possibly could without compromising the integrity of the gun itself. So I clear out all the sawdust and I go back to dropping more lead into the hole. So we just hammer that lead down in there really tight. Uh, ended up being about five, six ounces of lead total that got melted in the buttstock. And last but not least, you just seal it off with some uh, clear epoxy. I'm not using anything special, just some uh, two-part JB weld, and that's that. Just let that dry, attach the buttstock back on, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.